Okay, don't let the fear of striking keep you from playing the game. I repeat that again. Don't let the fear of striking prevent you from playing the game. What do I mean? Some of you, I know, you're looking to move. You are looking for your next home. You've been in your apartment for years, or maybe the customer service is not so great, or maybe you just want a change of climate, a change of weather, a change of environment. You want new beginnings. Recently, I was speaking to one of our future residents, and what he said was that um, he's been in his current residence for 18 years, and right now he feels like business is not doing business is not doing so good and one of the reasons he thought according to his prayer um prayer partner his pastor and um his colleagues from his religion is that sometimes a change of environment would affect your financial fortunes i'm not sure how true that is but i can relate like sometimes you need a change of environment to have new beginnings but you're afraid you don't know you've not been in the game for long you've not applied for an apartment for long alternatively you've just been living in your own house and right now you want to put your house for an airbnb or for a remote lean or for some renovations or you want to sell your home or you just want to change states and you've never applied for an apartment, you've never changed homes, you've never um, made a big move with regards to your home. Never. Don't let that fear of striking prevent you from playing the game. So, this is it. If you're looking for an apartment, just go for it. If you see it, you like it, like this is the ideal place that you imagine you'd want to live, just go for it. Why am I saying this? Sometimes I drive around and um, I see so many beautiful places. And sometimes it's easy to um, to feel like, oh my God, if I apply, will I be approved? Who, the, who are the kind of people that live in these places? But those people are not so different from you. They're just people who just applied. And if you're qualified, you'll get it. And most cases, I've met so many of my clients who are actually qualified, like they will be approved on the spot. But because of that fear, self-doubt, maybe they feel this is too um, luxurious or this is too posh for me or this environment is too, you know, different for me or maybe this is too complicated for me, the paperwork and all that. So they let that fear of striking prevent them, keep them from playing that game. Just go for it. Shoot your shot. And you will see because when it comes to apartments th different factors would affect your application you will be denied or accepted depending on different factors but three main consistent and main factors for most businesses standard business practices when it comes to homes and apartments three things three things your credit you know, America, everything is about your credit, <laughs> basically. But don't, that's not to say that if you're not on the 800s or 700s or 600s or 500s or where, whatever, that you'll not find a home. It just depends. Different communities approve differently when it comes to credit. So your credit is a factor. Your income is a factor. Income, what do I mean? You might have, um, you might have income from your employment. You might have income from your company, you have a business. You might have income from retirement. You've retired and you have some kind of income every month from your retirement plan. You know, you might have income as a student. Maybe you're here um, in this country as a student. You have some type of finances that so, that will support you while you're in this um, in this country. So there are different documents that will show as a student that you have an income and we are going to discuss all that in our next episodes. So ideally, any type of income is welcome as long as you can, as long as it's on paper, we can really, really see it. It's welcome. We will review that application. Most companies will review application because they want your business. Don't be scared. And the third, third and final factor will be your rental history as a um, leasing professional, as, um, as a property managers, what they look, what people in this field look is, where have you lived before? They want to know more about you because your past kinda 
um, would reflect the kind of tenant you will be. You know, if um, you have the regulatory, um, if you have, I'm not sure if I said that word correctly, the regulatory, okay, never mind. If you have poor, <laughs> Oh, if you have poor um, rental history, that means you cannot be trusted. You you cannot be trusted with the responsibility that maybe you skip, you don't pay your rent, or you you know you just have bad history with rent with rent, or you know some that that would be a negative factor on your application. However, if you're confident that you've just been a good citizen, you know, or you just don't have nothing that will paint your application in terms of previous rental history in a negative way, go for it, go for it. And even if you do, still go for it. I have seen so many situations where no one is perfect. All these people applying for apartments, no one is clean, like perfect. Just do it. No one has their credit in order. Not everyone has their credit in order. Not everyone has their income in order. And not everyone has their previous rental history in order. But the biggest room for improvement is the room for second chances. Second chances and businesses are willing to do that. So second chances exist. Just shoot your shot and explain yourself if they give you a call. So income, credit, previous rental history. Those three factors are what, we'll, are what we look for when it comes to apartment leasing and when you are looking for your new home, keep in mind about those three factors. Thank you for watching. In our next episode, we are going to talk more. We're going to dive deeper into how these three factors, um, what we look for in three, these three factors and the points of no return and the points where we can really negotiate and how we can make this process smooth for you. Thank you. This has been your boy, your favorite, Joe. See you next time. Adios.